Hi guys, so today I want to quickly review the um, Crafters Companion full-size storage sheets and binder, uh, the magnetic ones. Uh, it's what I picked up during the birthday week, but I also wanted to show you, um, oh, well I just reviewed this guy. Oh, it feels a lot firmer today, that's good. Because you know when you glue something together with the glue, it feels wet for a little while, so now it has a nice firm feel to it, especially the front cover because it has a couple layers. But this is the Precious Memories. Uh, die set. You know it's funny, on the back of the packaging it does say Precious Moments, but all over Crafts and Companion themselves they say Precious Memories, so maybe that's why we're all getting confused, I don't know. I did want to quickly, quickly mention that um, I came to do the video and I was like, oh this thing's so dirty, so I'm just using a baby wipe from the dollar store. It feels like this. Um, <clears throat> unscented's probably better, but just to clean this off and finally cleaning off and there was glue stuck on here and all kinds of stuff, but I mean that's like any... Um, <clears throat> glass mat will do. It'll just clean up really nicely. So uh, let me dry this off and then we will check it out. I'm going to bring out some dies, some larger dies, some small dies, and see how well the magnets um, actually hold on to them and um, just check it out. Okay. So when I ordered this during birthday week, it was the folder and it came with two packs. And then I bought three more packs. I figured I probably needed a lot of them. So let's open this up. I can tell right now, I believe, that they stick together. Not horribly, but it does have a white background. We'll see if that's sticky. So let me show you really quickly for comparison. Here, this is a good one. Um, it's sitting right next to me here. Uh, the Anna Griffin, however, when you buy dies from her now, it comes on a magnetic mat. You can also buy uh, a binder to put them in, or it looks kind of like a magazine folder holder thing <laughs> that you can put them in. And... Um, they look like this, and they don't stick together. Like one, even right now, see, they're not sticking to the other one. She has a really nice backing on it so that you can open them easily without having to like pick through them, you know, because they're stuck together. So whenever this magnet touches, you know, the next one, it doesn't stick. So I do like that, and it's nice and sturdy. As you can see, they just hold up on their own. This one is more like a thin, um, like a magnetic sheet when this is more of like a page. I don't know how to explain it. It's thick. Oh, well here, how about this? <laughs> I can bend that one and I can't really bend this one. So, just so you know. So they're uh, more typical of like the magnetic sheet that you've seen um, other people sell. Let me cut this one open and then I'll grab some other dies that are already probably open, like I said, or maybe even that Anna Griffin one just so you can see what a larger die would do on something like this. So I just have the word believe here that I got from one of the goodie bags there. I think the other word I got was dream and another grab bag or mystery bag, but I already had the word dream that I recently bought at um, Tuesday morning, and I don't know why I have it sitting here still, so this is a good thing to put this away. So let's... Okay, when I picked it up, it already started moving, which drives me nuts. Because when you have them sitting there, it, that's when they start sliding, but... Okay, so there's that. Not bad. Maybe once you put more and more on it, um, it'll get a little firmer, right? Because this rigidity is helping it. And, oh, see? Mm -mm. Oh, that bothers me. Big time. Even the ones I, I'll show you the other way I store them. Oh, gosh, sorry. Um, in the art bin ones, those are pretty good because they're nice and firm, kind of like this. But let's say we have this big die. And you saw when I was showing you the Anna Griffin when it wasn't, they weren't moving. They were on there really nice. I'll fix that in just a second. I move this so I can get this in here. Okay. Okay, so they're on there. Again, if I just barely give it any kind of twist, they're coming away. Um, but it's on there. Pretty good, even the smaller one. Let me shake these guys. And then I'll put them in the binder so we can see if that helps, you know, instead of just having like free sheets that are just hanging out here. Let me show you how I normally um, hold so my dies. I love this art bin one because you can carry it around. You know, you can put tons of these magnetic mats in them. Now I buy these on Amazon, but like you'll see you have a coupon at Joann's or Michael's. Go ahead and get the case 
This is magnetic die storage case made with your coupon. But I always get my refills. They're usually three in a pack from Amazon for like three or four dollars. They're always an add-on. So like you have to buy something else to add that on at that price. Anything else. Like whatever you might buy on Amazon and then throw on some of these. And I buy like six packs at a time because that's a flipping amazing price. So let me show you what these look like. And I'm like, I always think, do I have them on the wrong side? Because this time, this is the side that, the, the back side. I don't know that that's magnetic. Let me see. I've never tried it. I doubt it. Because, like I said, they don't stick to each other. Oh, well. Interesting. It's, <laughs> it wants to stick at the top for some reason. But not at the very bottom. You guys saw that? That's weird. Maybe you got some magnetism from just being in this thing, I don't know. So yeah, the back sides don't stick. And I like these little things. And I just kind of scroll through them like this. And I pick out what I need and I try to keep them in genres. Like this is Anna Griffin. It's really most of her word dies that I was on auto delivery for one time. And then I have some envelope or edge dies um, in here. But usually mine are stacked up to the top. Most of the dies that I have that way are from AliExpress, so I will not show them. But, um, but they are Packed to the brim, so you can put tons of these in here. Yeah, it gets heavier, but I do like them, and I never really have them fall off. So, I have liked that way of doing it. Now let's get this into the folder, and hopefully I'm not totally bummed out by this. I did get a great price. I think it was like less than 19 bucks for the folder and the two packs. Sorry open this first okay and here is the storage folder which is nice and pretty and it has a little tag you can put your name in there uh, or what might be in it uh, users large size craft companion magnetic die and stamp storage panels oh that's the other thing you can use the stamp panels in here which is cool um, which are basically those white panels that you can hold clear stamps or cling back stamps right and let me open this up I mean, basically I have it. That's the only thing about Crafters Companion. I don't really think I can return stuff. I've never tried it, but some things they want you to pay the return shipping to the UK. <laughs> I don't know if they have... I know they have a place in the US, but I don't know if you can make your returns to the US too, but that would be nice. Anyway, because um, everything ships out of the UK other than the machines, but um, has little storage pockets here, I guess, to put some, you know, whatever you need to put in there. I can't get this thing in between here, so hold on. And the binder, you have to pull it open by force. It does not have like a little tab at the bottom to do that for you. And I'm going to place these in here just to see what that feels like. They are sticking together a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> and then I'm going to close the binder, sorry. And I'll bring it back over here and turn it this way just so we can kind of see. So if you have it laying out in front of you, you know, you should maybe come in at a corner and pick it up. Look, it's completely stuck together. <laughs> So you really have to kind of get in there, which is kind of not what I like. Um, is it holding them? Yes. So, you know, if, if, you, if you like the price, it's going to do the job. Look, I mean, I'm shaking it. And basically the, the fact that they are sticking together is keeping your, um, your dies in place, really. But at the same time, that's a feature that I don't like when I go to flip through them. So... It's what it is. Um, I, I showed you a few different things. You know, the Anna Griffin ones, obviously her dies come on them, but if you have old dies, you can buy them in sets of, I think, three or five, and they're not inexpensive. So this is a good, probably inexpensive way. Otherwise, I would do the art bin, but art bin, obviously, you can only be so big that you can put in there. So this is a nice full sheet um, that you can put your dies in here. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to quickly try that out, because look at that. Ah, oh, that bugs me. All right, well, there's winners and there's some that aren't so much winners, but I guess if you're very careful with it, you know, that's fine. But it is holding on to even the thinnest little things, so that's good. All right, I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.